So I'm here with Jared Aiken. He's a member of the Kelowna Falcons, also a former member of Lower Columbia, and next year will be joining Concordia. Uh, so first question I have for you, Jared, is, you know, Concordia, what, what went into the decision-making process for that school, and, and what are you looking forward to next year? Um, when I was making my decision, I was looking a lot about the education and possibilities that were brought up afterwards. It was a little bit had to do with location. It was close to home. I could be with my family, but it truly was the education for me that you know brought me to Concordia. Yeah, and Concordia, you know, they've got some pretty good competition. They've played some teams uh, up and down the West Coast. They have some uh, pretty talented individuals. You know, what kind of things are you hoping to accomplish with your, your career at Concordia as you move down to, to the Portland area? Um, just every time I go out there, put my team in a position to win the game. You know, do what it takes so we can go out and win no matter who we're playing. And then, you know, just a few weeks ago, you uh, finished up your career at, at Lower Columbia with a, uh, a back-to-back NWAC, NWAC titles, and um, along with that was MVP of the tournament. So, first of all, kind of tell me, you know, what it's like to win back-to-back titles as well as to be named that MVP. I mean, well, last year we won the first one. It was pretty cool. Like, we always hear how hard it is. I know when I was hurt and I watched our team lose, it was pretty tough. I didn't want to be out there and experience it. Then, after we won the first, I was like, well... Now we just got to go out and do what we can to repeat. It's going to be hard, but we have a lot of people trying to gun for us. I knew we had the talent to do it. It's just coming together and playing well, so that was pretty cool. And being the MVP was pretty cool. It was going out there and pitching twice, getting my chance to win two, team chance to win two games, and they had my back the whole time. Yeah, you did start two games, win both games, and uh, the last game you, you pitched was the championship game. Um, you started off a little rough, but then really settled down. Kind of walk me through uh, how you felt as you started the game, but also kind of when you calmed down and how things progressed. Um, after the first few innings, it was kind of rough. I knew my team had an offense to get back into it, and once they got you know a few runs aboard, and it was just keeping the momentum, getting my team back in it so we can keep hitting, make their defense work, make them throw stressful pitches, and do what it takes for our offense to be back in there the entire time. And then, you know, this summer you are with Kelowna, um, you know, spending the summer playing. What is kind of your goal and your focus of this uh, this season, trying to get better for next year? Um, my goal is to develop against you know a lot of these really good high caliber hitters and learn what it takes to get these guys out. Whether it be another secondary pitch I try and develop, or whether it be throwing harder and making better location, more movement on pitches. So, Jared, last question I have for you. You know, you did finish up your time at LCC. You know, obviously you won the two NWAC titles. Um, but is there another moment that you kind of look at and go, man, I I really will remember that and kind of move forward? And is there something that you just kind of uh, enjoyed the most about playing for LCC? Um, I think it would have to be after we beat Tacoma on their field twice and come down here and win the first one on a walk-off to clinch the league in 2017. That was really cool, going up there, beating them twice, and then on their sophomore night and then off sophomore night, having the ability to walk it off as a team and be out there celebrating. Yeah, actually, I do remember I was at that game. So, Jared, first of all, I want to say thank you and congratulations. You know, you, it's not re- often you get to see guys who win two times you know, for the NWAC and, and then to be MVP. So congratulations, and I hope you have a good year. Thank you.